Eddie, this is a new video because there were some things that I forgot to let you know in the first video. I mean, so I'm deleting that video and uploading this one. Okay, what I wanted to show you... Uh, hold on one second. Sorry, I had to find my little ruler so I could show you. So what I did was I set it all top dead center because when I turned the engine over, it had a backfiring, so that told me it was a timing issue. So I removed the valve cover. And what I did is I set these gears up at top dead center. And if you can see, there's a white mark here and a white mark here. Those two have to line up straight across. And if you see this bearing cap in the background, you'll see this line. And if you see, those gears line up with that line perfectly. And here in the middle, we got a white dot that goes straight up. And on this side of the head, this part of the head that's going across here is where you want to line up this timing mark and this timing mark. And if I put the camera even, you can see that they line up perfectly. Now, when I put the camera down, I'm pointing at your uh, crank. And you can see my white line that goes here should be lined up over here. So it's telling me my timing is off. But the way these this timing goes off, uh, from the way I've seen this engine's design, this chain won't hop if it's stretched. What it will do is it'll, after so many miles, the chain will stretch and the tensioner, which is right here, will be pushing across over here on a timing chain guide. That timing chain guide is, since the timing chain is stretched and the timing chain guide is able to go a little bit further out, which is the maximum tolerance of this tensioner. This tensioner, what it does is it slid all the way out, pushing on that timing chain. When it got to the end, it just dropped a little bit. So now it's no longer straight to go back into the tensioner. So in order to correct this problem, we're going to have to remove the oil pan, remove this crankshaft pulley, remove these accessory pulleys so that the front timing cover comes off. Uh, we're going to have to change this timing gear, timing chain, timing chain guides, timing chain tensioner to all factory pieces. Uh, there's an o-ring that goes behind this uh, timing cover that I already got the part number for and the rest of it the actual o-ring is silicone so we're going to need a, a big tube of uh, silicone called the right stuff. It's really good stuff. Uh, it's at heat it starts to uh, turn hard as soon as the oxygen's cut off from it, so it starts bonding very quickly. We're also going to have to drop your, your oil pan because the timing cover is sandwiched between the head and the oil pan. So as long as I got one direction I can come in, I can seal the top area as I'm putting the bolts back on the timing cover. Uh, put the crankshaft pulley back on it and then come from the bottom with the oil pan and it'll be evenly uh, siliconed and resealed and all this that you're seeing all that's going to be clean so uh, also after I took out the valve cover uh, I was kind of dabbing some oil off the surfaces of the head right here and uh, I was you know wiping this off and then I accidentally pushed on this and it turned this is not even torqued on it's just spinning freely this one's torqued on because I can't turn this one but this one's spinning freely and that's not good so uh, we're gonna have to put the torque specs under that um, as far as uh, engine damage I don't see any but we won't know until the timing chains all back together uh, and running to know if there's engine damage because it was a little bit hard to turn but I thought well maybe that's just the high compression ratio of this engine because these are high performance motors so that's what we're going to need to do is do a timing chain job uh, that's going to be fun and uh, well we're going to send you the diagnosis of what we got so again all our timing marks are lined up where they should be as you can see there and as soon as you look down, you can see that the timing mark down there isn't lined up. And I found this information on YouTube from a guy named Ballast Esports. He put up a video that shows the exact same thing. And 
he more or less just, he didn't narrate it, but he typed on there what he did to it. Two components that he replaced, but that's doing it an aftermarket way. I want to do it the factory way. Because I don't want it coming back. Okay, Eddie, I uh, just gave you a brief description of what was going on and what's wrong with your engine. And why it's not running. And uh, so, it's just a matter of getting parts and starting the process. So, we're also going to need oil, oil filter, um, the VTEC uh, gasket. The tensioner should come with its O-rings already. Uh, the tube of silicone. Uh, oil pan gasket, valve cover gasket. So I'll have a list for you of what, everything that we're going to need. So, But just to let you know, we've already found out what the problem is. And now we just got to take care of it. Alright, thank you so much for watching.